Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Vernier pH probe. So in case you haven't done it already, you need to download Vernier Graphical Analysis, which is an app or an extension, I guess, uh, for Chrome. Uh, when you open it up, it looks something like this. In order to use a pH probe, you need a GoLink cable connected to your Chromebook. And then this item itself is the actual pH probe. Okay, uh, one of the most important things to recognize though is that you have this weird little container of fluid here um, connected to the pH electrode. Okay, uh, you need to unscrew this before you do any analysis. Uh, this is keeping the electrode fresh in a way, um, it's also keeping it at a particular pH which is something that's really important when you're storing these things, okay? So like it says, storage solution, unscrew cap before inserting or removing the electrode, okay? And so when you remove it, uh, it ends up looking something like, like this. So you can actually see the glass electrode bulb here at the bottom. This solution, do not spill, do not mess around with this, okay? We only have a couple of them. And then uh, right here, you actually do need to take this top part off. This is the uh, washer. And so you need to kind of slide the washer off and then you can screw it back on the lid uh, before you do any analysis though, okay? Uh, when you're done with it though, so when you're actually finally done with your experiment, you need to slide the washer back on and screw it very tightly into our standardizing solution because otherwise it'll throw everything off, okay? But it's just like all the other probes. You plug this end into the GoLink cable, and then the data is displayed on the screen instantaneously. Okay, so if you have any particular questions about that, just make sure that you ask, but also make sure you store your electrode appropriately. Make sure that you rinse it with distilled water before you put it back inside of the solution. You don't want any acid or base taking this standardizing solution and turning it more acidic or basic than it needs to be because it will start to slowly but surely eat away at that glass electrode if we don't store these carefully. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. 